Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers and I'm here today to show you how to make an animal or is more specifically our turtle with lots and lots of different body parts and joining them all together so that they make one whole. It's a very, it's literally sort of the most basic skill of needle felting where you are making lots and lots of shapes and joining them all together. One particular useful technique if you want to, um, certainly if you want to make the turtle, there's lots and lots of parts, um, namely the head, the neck, the two, um, the four flippers, the tail, um, and then the body, and then you've got the shells, the top and the undershell to put together. So um, I'm going to show you um, just a little bit um, from that project um, and um, hopefully that will be useful for you to make the turtle. But if you're watching this at any other point, then um, this might be the beginning of an exciting needle felting journey because you suddenly think, oh, I can make little pieces and put them all together to make one whole um, item. So I've, I've worked a little bit ahead and I have made um, the body here, um, the head and um, the tail. I've got four flippers and a neck. So I'm going to show you how to make a flipper and I'm going to put all of these out of the way so we don't get distracted. Now this is my portion of wool um, that I need to make the flipper and this uh, particular technique if you have our turtle project which is the um, makers box for June 2023 then it will be um, on page five where we're starting to make the flipper. So you have your um, your wool here on, on your um, uh, felting mat and um, you will flatten the for the front flip flipper you flatten it to about four by nine centimeters and then you are going to felt a long um, a, a curved shape around the top now what at this point will be really useful if you're making this um, from our instructions is to go to the very last pages where you have the templates for the different um, items here. So I'm going to turn this round now because that's um, how that shape is evolving here. So this is the line that I'm needle felting there now. If you're following the instructions this is actually flipped so the wispy bits are here and um, the rounded bits are there. So I don't know how confusing you find that but I sometimes I find it really hard to um, to imagine things mirror image. So once you've got that line you fold it in because that gives you now a nice neat um, edge. And um, I'm going back to the instructions where it actually tells you what you're going to do next. And um, that was on this page here. And because I'm following the instructions and I'm at this picture now, which is uh, step 29, I'm actually going to um, make the rounded part here. So you're on your mat, all you're doing is you're literally shaping the flipper as you're felting it down flat. So I'm shaping this off now, this is the wispy end. What you do have to do however is you have to lift it off regularly because it does get fastened onto your felting mat. Whilst you're still getting the shape established just stab it from one side and don't worry if it's too wide because you can stab into this into this short end in a minute too. So just get that shape and the size roughly put down. You can sometimes it's easier to turn your felting mat to get into the area where you want to stab rather than making contortionist movements with your arm and um, um, whatever. So you you can if you have a smaller felting mat you can turn that round to establish um, the angle that you need to get at. So lift it off and then at this point it might be quite good to have a look at your template which is here. From now on I'm only going to use my template. So this is the shape that I've made and I need it to fit in here. So now I can see where exactly where I need to make my shape a little bit uh, uh, less wide or more shapely and all I'm doing is I'm literally just stabbing into it consistently where the shape needs to change and you can do this still from both sides so I'm trying to um, make this part here at the front of the flipper a little bit square that off a little bit and make it a bit um, thinner more narrow if you have a, a five needle clover tool this is a really handy tool to use to uh, speed up your work there now 
um, so that you can felt this down into a nice neat flat shape much faster. I genuinely don't think I've got my five needle tool here with me right now but if you have one I would highly recommend use it um, because it works really well on the um, on any felting mats that we put in kits. Um, certainly it works on the earth friendly felting mat and on the eco wool mat if you've got a brush mat it works on there as well. So it will be a much faster way to um, to felt this this uh, flipper down. So I'm going to check the sh shaping again against the template and this is what you will be doing with all of the shapes that um, you're making if you've got a template always check against it so front oh, no that's the back flipper there we go front flipper so I'm still got to shape it down quite a little bit make it more narrow here to um, to get it to fit the template but you can see with lots and lots of stabbing and constantly checking it against the template you will get there in no time um, getting the shape right and remember you can stab into all directions even if you have to hold it just mind your fingers when you do this so it doesn't always have to come straight into the shape it can also go into the narrow edges or the narrow sides you are in control of where this where this wool is going to be shrunk and wherever you stab the needle is where the reduction takes place so that's um, as long as you go in and out in a straight line so if you go in that way you also want to come out that way if you go in that way you also want to come out that way what you don't want to go is go in that way and then bend the needle and come out that way that is not going to work the needle will not like it and it will um, bend if you're lucky and break if you're unlucky so make sure you always stab in the right direction um, but the right direction means in and out in the same direction. So you can see now that the um, the flipper is taking more and more shape because of my stabbing along in there and you stab it for as long as you get a nice solid shape like this. So I'm not far off, this is the one I made earlier. So I'm going to work with the shapes that I have made now because I want to show you how to join them together as well. Now the reason why we leave wispy ends is because in effect these are the joining points. So I'm um, going back to the instructions. I'm not going to uh, join the flippers just yet. I'm going to join what happens first in the instructions. So I have made a neck, a neck shape. Now the neck shape has been made in a similar way but also not because we need to make a really tight sausage. So to make this, you have taken your wool and you will have wound it up into a, a mini sausage here at the end. Stab that down, start stabbing that down really, really tightly because this neck is all, is all essential for the turtle to be really nice and firm. So stab it down and as you're winding it further towards the end of that um, shape, you are stabbing it down as you go keep the ends wispy and um, eventually you will end up with um, a nice solid where's my neck gone it was here a minute ago there a nice solid shape like that so that's like really felt it down well the ends remain wispy that's the neck and then there's also a, a yet a different technique of how to do the tail which I'm going to show you very briefly remember if you at any point need to stop this video and catch up then do so so the tail is basically done, um, is again, is just another way of making a 3D shape where you have um, a shape like this and you flatten it into a sheet of about 12 by um, 12 centimeters. So tease it apart a little bit more. And then you fold it in half like this. So you've got the folded line at the top. You keep the folded line at the top and then you fold it in half sideways. And now you're going to fold it in at, um, in half again but this time diagonally now you've got sort of like a very weird looking little tapered shape but that's exactly what you now need to shape into a 3d tail so 3d always means you have to turn it in very small increments so that this little um, pointy sausage will become firmer and firmer and firmer and again you have got templates in the turtle instructions so do follow these um, and remember, you can always rewind this and watch it again. So I have made the tail, I've worked that in advance as well. And once you've got um, the right parts done up, now I've lost the tail. I know it's there somewhere. Show yourself tail. 
Okay, I will find it in a minute. I just, I literally just had it, but it's um, decided to hide away somewhere. Oh, no, it's here, right in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna put the half finished tail away. I've got, um, what I need next, this is the neck and the head. That is in the order of the instructions is what happens next. So some of these uh, shapes, I've jumped ahead to make them, so to show you how to make them, but it's not necessarily the order of how things are made. Um, in, in the instructions. So th what will happen is you will, will have made the neck in step 21, that's the finished neck, and now you're going to join it onto the turtle's head, which is here. So you now need to open up these wispy ends like this, and then you want to sit the turtle onto it so that um, the, the head is in the correct position. So it needs to be sort of... Um, it almost needs to go underneath the eyes in that way, like that, and then you can uh, turn it upside down and felt into these wispy ends to smooth them out over the shape. And that neck needs to be really, really um, stiff so that uh, the turtle's head will not flop forward. And uh, we also want to put a, a slight curved um, shape into it later so it does need to be a nice firm um, shape and whilst you are felting the wispy ends down you there will be an, um, a little weakness still here in that join because you haven't you haven't felt it deep it far enough up the neck yet so then you go really at a shallow angle from the neck shape so no longer just the wispy ends you're gonna felt this really solidly into the head. You've covered the little uh, wispy ends over the head, they're felted down, the neck is on, but now you're securing the neck by going at a shallow angle into the neck itself, into the um, stiff felted shape and into the head all at the same time. And that will take care of that slight weakness that you've had here um, at the beginning. And then later on the neck will be curved into um, sort of a, a more natural shape as the as the head of the turtle would be. So that's um, fastening the neck on. The, in, the, in the instructions next, you will be making the flippers, which I've already shown you how to do um, one, and then you will make the body. Now the body is made very similar to the head, um, which is just making a round shape. It's a, we have got tutorials for this. If you're completely new and you need to know this, we have got tutorials for this. But the next thing is you now have to um, fasten on the other end of the neck, which is also unfelted, onto the body. So you've got your your body there, you've got your, um, and it's literally doing exactly the same what you did with the head, but this time you're fastening this onto the body. So again, you can see that if I let go now, the head is very floppy. Um, because the, the head is heavy onto the neck. So we need to make sure that also this part is felted on really solidly. There will be more weight to the body um, because we have to add the flippers in the upper and um, under shell. Um, but you can already get this head and look, it's standing now. Um, just by felting it from the neck into the body like this, do it in slow motion, get rid of all the wispy um, ends, that will fasten on. I can't let it go at the moment because it's top heavy, but we have got a lot of weight that gets added to the top turtle itself so that the head should um, stay nice and firm. Right, and um, I'm hoping that this is, will, will be helping you to attach all the other body parts as well. The, um, the flippers will be attached in exactly the same way as the head, so you, you have the wispy ends um, coming out of the body, and um, I'm sure that you can all manage it. Have fun doing it, and I see you very soon with all your beautiful creations, and hopefully this has given you a real incentive to uh, crack on with your projects. Bye!